The goal of this Revit to Blender project was to create a building as easily as possible and make a render with some great Arquids add-ons. Hi, this is Wonder Arquids. Thanks for all your subs and likes, and let's get started. I created a new Revit project using the metric architectural template. Using model lines, I created the references in plan view to place walls and ceilings. I used commands such as pick lines and trim to help with this process. Afterwards, I added the levels to define the different floor plans and to aid with wall placement. From there, I added walls and defined their material and height. While I chose all the materials based on color in Revit, I assigned the correct materials in Blender later on. I added ceilings, floors and roofs using the pick lines command to define the borders in the floor plan view. Then I aligned them with the levels in the south view. To make a column, I use the in place wall tool. For the windows, I use curtain walls. Before placing them into the walls, I adjusted the properties, duplicated the mullion type, modified its dimension, and assigned it a black material.
The same approach was taken for the doors. I used curtain walls and replaced the glazed panel with a door from the Revit library. I then adjusted the properties and assigned a black material. For the wall finishing, I again used curtain walls. I replaced the glazed panel with a solid one, changed the vertical mullions with a smaller profile, and removed the horizontal mullions. From there, I changed the material of the solid panels and placed the new finishing to the walls. I modified the profile of the finishing by drawing the borders of windows and doors. I duplicated the finishing to add it to the upper floor, but for the other floors I opted to create a single curtain wall for each side, modifying the profiles accordingly. To add the parapets to the balconies, I used the railing tool and the pick lines command to define their shape. I then adjusted properties, dimensions and material and added a profile at the base of the parapet. Lastly, I added a floor at the base of the building and made final adjustments. I then exported the model in FBX format. In the next video, we'll be importing the model into Blender to make a render, so stay tuned and see you next time!